Hello, my friend, and uh, welcome. Welcome to another segment of Drawing with the Rouser. And today, what we're going to be doing is showing you how to draw a quick, easy, and simple caricature cartoon. Okay, guys, so when I first start drawing a picture, the first step is always to start with my basic head shape. The way that I see it is 80% or more of the drawing is based off of the head shape. Once you can master that, then the rest of the process is going to be fairly easy. Now the trick to seeing the head shape is to imagine the head as some in, am, an, excuse me, inanimate <laughs> object. Something like a, a toaster or, or a, a tree or whatever helps you associate the head shape so that it's easier to draw. My experience is, is when you try to convince yourself in your mind that hey I'm drawing a head then it becomes mentally harder because then you start thinking I have to draw a human being. But it's easier for us to be able to draw inanimate objects. So what object or what basic shape does that head shape remind you of? Okay. Now once I've placed the uh, head shape on the paper my particular technique is to then go with the hair shape okay so hair is relatively simple what you want to do is you want to also look at it as its own basic shape I see a lot of artists that try to put the strokes and everything in the hair first before they draw the basic shape of it and it makes it very hard uh, to see that basic idea when you approach it uh, from that particular way so I advise you to see the head as one shape, kind of like I'm doing here. And then once you've had, once you have the shape on the paper, then you can concentrate on putting in the particulars. Okay, now the third phase of the drawing is where I start putting in my features, okay? Now, just recently I've adopted uh, this method of actually putting the eyes in the picture first, okay? This allows me to capture the expression of the face easier. Uh, realize that most of your expression in your face is carried in one of two places. Either it's going to be in your eyebrows or it's going to be in your smile. Okay, so and your eyes actually change when you feel a different emotion. For instance, if you're startled, you'll notice your eyes will look big and wide and open. But if you look uh, intent or focused and your eyes squeeze and they make shapes like so. Um, this particular model, uh, she has a very neutral uh a glance she doesn't really have a lot of emotion in her face almost like just a model picture so therefore I went with a pretty neutral shape um, also something that kind of tilts up you can see I put a lot of angle on the eye that was something I chose to exaggerate in this picture now I'm putting my nose shape so you can see once again the nose is one basic idea one basic shape if you haven't watched my video on how to draw noses, you may want to go back and check that out. I know a lot of times you guys will ask me, uh, can you do a video about this or that? And uh, what I do recommend is before you ask for a video, that you go to our YouTube channel and then you search the channel. Just put in, for instance, how to draw noses and then put Rouser World and then our video for that will pop up. Okay, so that's just a FYI for you. Okay, so now we're putting in her lips and we're doing some basic beauty marks. Um, you can see she has a very interesting face. That's why I kind of picked this model. I decided to kind of steer away from just doing celebrities all the time because I thought about it this way. When you're trying to draw a celebrity, you're too personally invested in what the picture comes out looking like. Versus if you draw somebody that's not famous, then you tend to detach from it which makes it easier to be able to draw the picture and if you're going to be a caricaturist bottom line is you're not going to really be drawing celebrities you're going to be drawing actual everyday people so i advise you to practice on everyday people everyday uh projects this way um, you'll be able to uh, grasp it a lot quicker so the final phase of my drawing that's generally going to be this phase where I put, or next to final, where I put my shadows in. So 
The shadows are very important in the type of caricature work that I do because I like to use shadows instead of lines to form my face with, okay? When you add a lot of lines to your picture, it takes away from the animation of it or the simplicity of it, and it tends to start looking more like a portrait. So the object of caricature is, what do you see interesting about this face? What stands out about this face to you, okay? And then you take that and you kind of run with it. You use basic shapes just to put everything together. And then the shadows will give your shapes dimension. Okay. Now for this last part of the drawing, we're going to be putting in our hair shape. Okay. Or shading our hair in. For this part, I do use a giant poster marker. This is the same thing that I use at work because it's very quick. You can cover a lot of distance, a lot of ground with this particular marker. I do use, tend to use dried out markers if the person's hair is not extremely dark or I actually use them most of the time on every head first or every hair first because I can control how the marker comes down and then maybe I'll switch over to one that's a little bit uh, more or uh, less used if I want to go darker. For instance, right here you can see I'm coloring right next to the head. Usually this particular shape here is going to be a lot darker than the rest of the picture. Okay, so and also make sure you leave lighting in your hair like I'm doing here because if you don't then your hair is going to look flat. So pretty much guys, uh, that's how you draw a basic caricature. You know, you do your head shape, you do your hair, you put the features in. Uh, we do have videos for each and every feature. So once again, go back and check out those videos. If you have any questions or comments, guys, about how to draw caricature, you can also uh, place your question in the, um, the comment section here on the YouTube channel. And then we'll make uh, a response to you, possibly even make a video if we haven't covered that yet. Oh, also, if you like to learn more about doing caricature and you like to work one on one with the browser, I do offer or we do offer online classes so you can go to our website. Uh, you see the information right there at the bottom of the screen is uh, rouserworld.com uh, forward slash classes. So, guys, I'm pretty much finished up here. I hope you enjoyed. You guys have a blessed and wonderful day. And uh, also, guys, don't forget to subscribe below. And to hit that notifications button, uh, this way when we put up new videos, uh, you'll be the first to know. Have a great day, guys. See you next time. Hey, guys, I hope that you enjoyed that video tutorial. If you did, don't hesitate, guys, to go ahead and give us a like. Also, guys, don't forget to hit the subscribe button below and the notifications button. This way, when we put up new material, you'll be the first to know. If you have any questions about our markers or pens or paper, and you'd like to know where I get some of the materials that I use here on my art stream, there's a link in the description below, so you can go ahead and check that out as well. And also, guys, we'd like to welcome your questions and comments so that we can get some new ideas. You know, it's always good to have new, fresh ideas for our next and upcoming videos. Oh, and don't forget to check out these two super cool videos right here. So guys, thanks again for your love and support of our channel. You guys be safe out there. And as always, guys, I wish you happy cartooning.